We've, we've been through really deep times together. I mean, when John first got diagnosed with cancer, you know, having a group to pray with you and hold you up and, and, and get you through that was massive. And um, we've seen each other through really tough times, you know, parents that have gone through difficult journeys to death or, um, and just being able to do it together, it's just incredible. It's just not the same. I think if you do things on your own, um, you've got God, but to have somebody else to hold up your hands, you know, when the going gets tough and to know that they're actually standing there and keeping you afloat. To have a group of people who, who really help you discern, I think, what the will of God is and how to actually do it, it's just amazing. We have had the most amazing journey as a group of people together and stuff that no one person could ever accomplish. Being able to get together with the whole group, we can accomplish stuff that that we would, as a, as a person, I would never even be able to dream about doing. That's massive. I, I don't know why people don't get into a group. Uh, to me, I think it's a, it, there's so many advantages in just making time to be in a group. Um, people watching out for you because they're going to be really hard patches in your life, whether you like it or not. Hard patches come. And, you know, when Bev shared two weeks ago, I think Bev shared, um, you know, th they're, as a family, they've been through some really hard times and they don't come to our church, but our church has stepped in and, and helped them with food parcels and Christmas gifts and, and all sorts of things, you know, because it's not about a church. And I think that's the wonderful thing about this our group is that it doesn't come from one church so it's not one church focused it's Jesus focused and it's community focused because it's not about building up any one particular church we're happy if people came to Alpha and they went to a whole lot of different churches we don't care as long as they're walking with God they're staying close to God and they're growing in God because at the end of the day we're all going to be in heaven together really I understand why people are reluctant to get into a growth group. Um, I'm busy, the, you know, it's difficult to make a weeknight to fit it in because, you know, it's just always, there's always just seems other things that need to get done and stuff that needs to happen. And, and, and taking the time out to go is, is not an easy thing. And I'll be honest, a lot of Mondays, I get to the end of Monday and I'm not ready for growth group. You know, I, I'm like, the, I just can't fit it in tonight, you know. We sit here sometimes and go, oh, maybe no one will come. You know? <laughs> but, but when it starts and you get to the end and you're so encouraged and you've got, it's just, it's a completely different thing. I really would, I would not want to do life without a home group anymore.